Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're finishing up the fuel tank, putting the lid on and pickups, and we're doing the steering system. We're here on the timeout. Looks like we got the um, fuel return lines and vent. This is a fuel return line and a vent, right? Or uh, th yeah, this is the, the vent. That's the vent and return for the generator, and this is the uh, uh, supply for coming back into the from the main tank to the day tank. Oh, okay. And this is the pickup right here that we're still gonna install. Okay. So it goes just like this. It goes just like this. Awesome. You gonna put that in with epoxy? Mm-hmm. And this one too. This is the uh, return from both engines. It goes right here. And six that over here. Cool. Yeah. Put a lot of work to get to this point, huh? Building so integral tanks is really labor intensive if you want to do it right. The end result is a superior product. And how hard is it to go back after you've put diesel in there and everything and glass and, and change it? Especially with, with this in this case, once you put the deck on here, so no, just you you're never getting back in there. You should do it one time and you do it right. And, and unless the boat goes aground and breaks through the bottom of the boat, other than that, they're, they're forever. It looks like we're the setting most, the fuel tank lid onto the fuel tank the most, with the fittings all the way installed and done. And we're going to glass it on. Right, Frank? Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Slightly pink mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Take one big bite of that. Yeah. So is that 50-50 Q-Cell and um, Cabasil? Correct. Great. And a little bit of yeah, right. this resin with iso resin, so it won't go out too fast, you know, crap. So this way, it gives it some time. So it's quite a concoction. There you go. Some VE. Yeah. We're mixing some real chemicals here. steering plate for the timeout and uh, you need a little wider is this where the base of the ram goes yeah see how this is in this right now we got to move it over this way one inch yeah tag it ready okay all right yep. What's that notch for? Uh, 
this right here is for the RAM, this is for the, so the generator one hit right here. Oh, the generator, this yeah, it's notching off for where the generator is going to be? Yeah. Four clearance? Yeah. You see we've got the um, uh, packing for the rudder shaft in, and got the bracket made here for the stringer to mount the steering plate. Frank's welded up a nice plate. He had to add a little bit on here. I'll show you a clip of that. Cut a little bit out because the generator is going to be here. And so we got a little starboard spacer. It's about a one inch spacer. It's going to just make that level across here. And this is going to go on like so. Next up, we're going to slide this down over and drill for the uh, self aligning bearing here. We're here on the mill drilling the uh, tiller arm to the timeout. So we're just modifying the tillers here for the timeout, um, cutting them to length, and we drilled a half inch hole in one and a 5 eighths hole in the other. We've got the steering system kind of mocked up here, um, pretty much getting there with the steering. So you can see we got the bearings bolted to the plate, everything set into the stringers. So it's not assembled for the final time yet. Still need to drill for the ram here, but we're getting there, starting to take shape. So we got a nice tie rod there going across. In this case, we put the um, tiller arms pointed towards the stern just for clearance issues and room because we had the room here uh, because we need the this platform is going to accept the generator. The generator was located up here, kind of between the engines in this location, but um, we're trying to get as much weight to the stern as possible. So we're put, we built a nice big fuel tank here, we're putting the generator here, and going to move some other stuff to the back too, batteries, etc.